for any case you just have to know which one to do right here is the first one force along the x axis normal like that you have the angle now what i want you to understand is it doesn't matter what you do you always draw the outward normal the nose to the face so for us in all of these problems theta equals counter clockwise angle between normal and positive x axis so for example if you cut if you cut a face not this way but suppose you cut the face this way let me erase this suppose you cut the face this way suppose i had a body and i cut it like this and i want to look at this face what do i do don't panic you just draw the x axis that is the angle theta and then use the standard uh, expression for all of this everything will work what if you cut it like this uh, let's see like this and you want to look at that face well, that's easy theta is a negative number theta is going down opposite clockwise so it's negative that's all no big deal you know the main thing is get the x axis positive x axis and the nose to the face if you get those two things the rest of the stuff is easy so now once you get that if your force also happens to be along the x axis like this then the stress the stress will be sigma nn equal to sigma xx cos square theta sigma nt equal to minus sigma xx sin theta cos theta and the direction is given by t and n like that what if the force happens to be in the y direction no problem sigma nn is sigma yy sin square theta <coughs> sigma nt is sigma yy cos theta sin theta <coughs> what if it's not a normal force what if it's a shear force no biggie you just go and this time sigma nn is sigma xy sin theta cos theta and sigma nt is sigma xy cos square theta how about the last one that's easy too this time the force is along the x is shear force along on the y face and then it will turn out to be sigma nn is sigma yx sin theta cos theta sigma nt is minus sigma minus sigma yx sin square theta okay got it that's it as far as this goes very good so now 